Look what I found in the garden yesterday. Some Hanson cherries. It's hard to see them. They're tiny. Uh, yeah. Very, very tiny. About the size of a large currant. But they are cherries. I did try one. Uh, large pit. Not particularly um, bitter. But not really sweet either. I don't think you could make a cherry pie out of this. But maybe maybe cherry juice would be good. Or just eat them out of hand. They're a bit of a pain to harvest because they're deep in the bush and there's clusters of them. Let's see if I can get them on camera. Let's see. Can't see what I got here as usual. But see they're way deep in the bush there. So uh, yeah I just thought I'd show that to you and then I'll put the camera back in since we're having rain today. And I'll add this to next week's video. Try to get it close up there. Okay. See you later. Well, there's something you don't see every day. It's bright sunshine here. But all of a sudden it got really dark. Um, a few moments ago and a thunderstorm formed overhead it's uh, it's just a few blocks to the east though so it's not coming here but uh, yeah that got exciting a few claps of thunder a couple drops of rain ah here is the t the pumpkin garden today and there's one of my patented Patented cherry tomatoes that comes up every year. This year it almost didn't happen because I covered the garden with uh, paper, but one came up anyway, which is good. And that is the Atlantic Giant there beginning to crawl. It does have a baby pumpkin on it. Um, it appears to be growing. That's one of the uh, the indicators that the pumpkin is viable because if they're not growing and they did, the flower doesn't open it's going to drop off. The first one that you saw last week did drop off. We have to do some weeding out here tomorrow. And this is Mad Hatter pepper or orchid pepper. Uh, it's making progress. It's got a few little flowers on it. And these are the Ah, did you hear the thunder? Ooh, look at that. I like storms. Um, there. Yeah, it's still lurking east of us. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. It's kind of fun. Um, these are the renegades. And they are picking up steam here. Uh, I'm still feeding them with a little low nitride nitrogen uh, fertilizer. They do have their own fertilizer in the uh, the soil that they were raised in so I'm cautious with that. They will not be blooming for another couple of weeks so I'm not really worried about them. They're a different kind of pumpkin than the Atlantic Giant. Uh, they're Pepos. Atlantic Giants are Maximas. So uh, they grow differently, and peppos are less fuss, fuss intensive, the way I put it. Uh, okay, we have um, beef steak tomato here, and these still have not produced it. Oh, wait a minute. There might be a baby tomato right there, but they're way behind the big beef tomato, which is over here. way behind. This has got four or five tomatoes on it and has had for a couple of weeks. And over here we have garden salsa. You see that little pepper right there? It's the earliest pepper I've ever gotten. The other pepper plants are, are doing okay but they're younger so they're a little behind. 
and this is I'm hoping I'm hoping this is that heirloom type little tomato that I had come up here by total miracle last year whoops there we go I got two of those I'm protecting them from the rabbits we have a lot of strange little tomato plants coming up at the base of the tomato bed and over here is mucho nacho which is the youngest of the three pepper plants I do see buds on it though and yes I do have to uh, I do have to do, get out here and weed tomorrow today I don't have time and here we have radishes that look like they're under some stress but that's okay I never do well with radishes anyway Okay. Ooh, more thunder, but it is moving away, the storm. I thinned out the, uh, the Space Master cucumbers. So uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'm, I may thin them again. Wait a minute. One, two, three, yeah, six. I may thin them again, but maybe not. And uh, carrots. Got to thin those. But that's so hard to do. There's one guy on YouTube who said, don't bother thinning them. They'll thin themselves. I might try that technique. Uh, here are the potatoes. Doing well. They tried to bloom, but I pinched off the blooms. Uh, potato blossoms are very pretty. But apparently you don't want them if you're growing potatoes in a bed. So there you go. We'll find out if that's true at the end of the season. Because uh, apparently if they, the tomato put, the potato plant blossoms, what happens is that all the energy goes into producing seeds. And you want the energy to go into producing roots. So we'll see. We'll see. Here are my sunflowers. Pikes Peak, I believe. The tallest one is about three feet tall right now. It'll get to 12 to 15, hopefully. So that is the food garden. And, oh, you know, I should show the mullein plant. This came up on its own. They generally do their weeds. And supposedly it makes good tea. So. I'm going to be trying that tomorrow, and I'll let you know if I'm still here next week. So that is a mullein plant. That's about as tall as I am. So, uh, about 5'7". <laughs> it's still moving east, though. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to rain all day today, and uh, they've now backed off and said, spotty thunderstorms. So I guess that's a spotty thunderstorm. Um, here. Let's do this. Put this down here. I don't know what we're looking at. But I'm going to go get the fertilizer. I'm doing the video today because the neighbor's having some work done on their house and uh, the guys aren't here today because of the rain that isn't here but they should be back tomorrow and it'll be noisy and of course it looks weird for me to be standing here talking to myself so anyway this is the fertilizer I'm going to be using on the most on the pumpkins see the very low nitrogen and this is the fertilizer I'll be using on all the plants that are actually producing stuff right now. Uh, the one pepper and the one tomato plant. I think all the tomato plants because uh, even though I don't see any, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't see any uh, tomatoes on the beef steaks, I still, you know, I'd rather see more flowers than growth at this point. So uh, I think we're going to go down to Big Bloom 
on this point with the, the zero nitrogen in it. Zero point five point seven. So uh, yeah, and I showed you in the other film clip the um, the little cherries. Uh, there's still a lot on that bush, but I'm waiting for them to turn dark purple because I read online that they taste best when they're dark purple. They're still sitting there red, so uh, that's after a couple days. So I'll let you know if they taste better. They were the more white ones were kind of bitter, and the the red ones were, were good. You know, not not great, but they were good. So uh, they're very very tiny. I'm hoping next year I'll get bigger cherries. Anyway, I think that's it for this week, and I'll see you next week.